I did not choose the blues. The blues chose me. That's the name of my new CD. And uh, it's true. When I was just a little boy, growing up, going to school, my mama used to listen to the blues. And I think that's why I love the blues. I um, went to this club in Los Angeles that was called The Steakhouse. At the steakhouse, there was a drummer. Uh, his name was uh, DeLacy White. His brother was Barry White, and DeLacy um, offered me a gig. After playing something that I thought was a blues, there were several people who cornered me and said, um, you know, you, you do okay, but what you playing ain't the blues. What you need to do is go listen to some B. Bink, Albert, some Freddie King, so you can learn how to play the blues. I embraced the culture, and um, there were many times that I, you would find me playing with people who I, I studied at the foot of and uh, really put a lot of time and energy into learning how to play the blues. And I do love the blues now as a result of that. I love, yes, I love the blues. I said, people, let me tell you, that's why I love the blues. I get so much joy from the first few minutes because the first few minutes, it's, it, that's where I embrace the audience. This is where I let them know in no uncertain terms that this is not me standing up here playing music for you. This is us enjoying this moment together because we may never have this moment again. So I always try to embrace the audience either through the song, through my gestures, through my body language. I try to do that. Hey, everybody. It's not what you do that people what that people remember is how you make people feel. That's what they remember, and so fortunately, they feel good when they leave, and so they keep asking me to come back. I love, I love the blues. I said, people, let me tell you, that's why I love the blues. I said, people, let me tell you, that's why I love the blues. I said, people, let me tell you, that's why I love the blues. I love the blues. I love the blues. Well, that's why I love the blues.